I started off using Microsoft Windows Paint. I clicked on the font symbol, which is the letter A. Dragged the box big enough for my word. Clicked on the font size. I used Cooper Black font, but I didn't have it at home on the PC because I did this at work. So I just used Georgia. Type the word that I want. Now using the rectangular selection tool, just moving the word to the center. Highlighting the H and just moving it up to the top so I can work on it. Now dragging the U. Now if you notice there, the word is covered. So you have to go back in the select tool and click transparent selection. Just clicking the zoom button here so I can uh, see easier work on the piece. Dragging the U up now to where I want it under the H. Just remember this has got to be cut out, so you need access for your tools. I'm doing the same with the G. Now the same with the O. it's as easy as that now just clicking the zoom again just dragging the word into the far corner making the page smaller so you can get ready for the prints whatever size you want basically for the print size and that's it for that you set all your print options up now for the heart if you click on the shapes menu at the top there's a heart selection so with the left button just drag it wherever you want it then do the same again, move it to the corner, shrink your page and set all your print settings whatever size you need, it's as simple as that. That's what it's like when it's printed out and that's what it's like when it's cut out. You can, not, you can leave the cutting out section but I find it easier with cutting out it doesn't tear. Just putting some spray glue now on some off cuts or MDF, sticking the cutouts down. Cutting as much as the material out now with the various size drill bits, the forcing bits. Just cutting it out now using the band saw. Done. Just removing the paper now. Now a lot of smoothing down now with various files. Just get till you're happy with it. It's quite a long task this is, but it needs to be done really. Just using the multi tool here to sand out the round sections. Spend as long as you want on this, depending on what finish you want. Now I'm just cutting the heart out. It's exactly the same process as the new go word. It's a lot easier than the word this is. Jigsaw for cut these out. Put even a coping saw. Is that done? Now using a router with a rounding over bit, I'm just rounding the edges of the heart. Just using a 40 millimeter forcing bit here to cut out the hole for the candle. Now. Plenty of sanding with sandpaper to get it smooth how you want it. Blowing it off here with the uh, compressor. Just giving it a coat of primer undercoat here. Now 
This is by Leyland, it's pretty good stuff this is. Now just painting the word. It will need sandy when you've done this with different grades of paper to get it where you're happy with and smooth. When that's dry I'm just drilling a hole in the bottom for the word. Now one in the base of the heart. Turn it upside down, drill the countersunk bit so it can sink the head of the screw. And I'm just screwing the heart to the word. As I was screwing it to the word it was the wrong way around but I've turned it the right way now. Now when all that's dry and sandy till you're happy with it, just sprayed it using some black uh, craft spray. Fill the top light coats until it's dry. A little sand in between. Just keep doing this until it's dry, until you're happy with the finish. that dry and you're happy with it, just using some super glue, just putting some dabs of glue on. Um, this is actually a confetti, a little silver confetti, I'm just gluing them on where the hour where the hour the word is. And if you need you can put it all over if you want to just I just decided to do the O. Sticking on three surface protectors, they self adhesive, so they just stick on, just stops you scratching your surface. And that's pretty much done. Well, that's it, all done. Another easy project. Just time to put the candle in now. Thank you for Angela for all the candles. Thanks for looking. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see.